the Peace Valley Solidarity Initiative kind of came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> actually, it came out of Wells, B.C. <laughs> Phil Horn. <laughs> and early participants, Jackie Larkin and Harold Steves. Harold, where are you? Thank you, Harold. We have no formal structure. We need to figure that out. We're open to and asking you for suggestions, uh, simple suggestions, because we don't have a lot of resources. We have an email. It's up there at the, at the top, info at sitesummit.ca. And fire us off an email and let us know what you think or what you think we might do. I'm going to just mention a few outputs from us uh, from the summit. One is the website. We're going to keep the website going. We'll put up the overhead slides. I think maybe already there are some easy talking points about economics been put up from the, the uh, sessions yesterday. The workshop themes, three themes from each workshop will go onto the website and we'll photograph the clip charts and put flip charts and put those up there as well. Um, so keep an eye on the website for updates. We'll use your email addresses, which we have collected, and we will contact you. Expect at least one email next week. We'll say hello. Also, I'd like you to keep an eye on the Rolling Justice Bus Facebook uh, site. Will you be our friend? <laughs> Updates, ideas, uh, current events. That uh, Rolling Justice Bus is dedicated to more than Site C. It's about connecting the dots. We'll also be issuing a communique from the um, from the summit and the organizers will take care of that. We've got it mostly written, but we want to add some themes to it there and we'll get that out um, into the public domain. That's what we'll do. I want to ask if you can help us with a few things. One is that uh, providing ideas on the structure. I said we're gratified by your energy. We hope you are, you're renewed to continually raise Site C in, your, in the work that you do. I'd like you to raise your hand if you're prepared to do that. Thank you. We want you to push your elected MLA in every way you can on the economic justification that was so crappy. And we want you to, to talk about the continuation of this train wreck. Will you do that? Thank you. We want to get, ask you to get your voices in the corporate media any way you can. We want people to know we're not going away. Maybe this week you can write a letter. Now, right now, what we can do, and we had some ideas, we're up here, some great ideas, and, and the first thing I want to mention is supporting the legal case, the injunction um, uh, suit that's going forward from the West Moberly First Nations and Prophet River First Nation. I want to tell you that you have raised $3,000 here for that fight. Thank you very much. That's terrific, and I, I just remember the words of Chief Chamberlain last night. Next week, get another 10 bucks and send it in. <laughs> I don't think he was limiting it to 10 bucks, actually. But we just got to keep supporting in financial ways and every other way that you can, and we heard a list of them, and we'll get that up. Um, other money was donated, uh, donated to the summit in the process of, of, of registering and, and coming here, and I want to thank everybody. The little bits that came in, the larger pieces that came in to support us really meant a lot to us in terms of building our morale and boosting us. I'll have to say I got a little bit behind in my emails in the last week, um, but I will catch up with you folks. Thank you very much. Um, over here we raised $1,000 for the uh, Peace Valley Landowners Association. Thank you very much. And we raised $50 for the Blueberry First Nation, so thank you for that as well. Everything helps. On March 26, you heard about it. The Blueberry case will be at the federal court in Vancouver, and that idea, I think, is a good one about getting some things going around the province and the courts. If we're able to pull that off, we'll, we'll push that out on the website and Facebook. Sonia first now asked, us, asked um, us, all of us, to work together uh, for ideas for the budget estimates. So we, I offered to help organize some of that. So did Vicki Husband. We got a, an email set up called Budget Estimates at Sites csummit.ca, and if you can provide material into us, we'll do our best to organize that for them rather than flooding them with emails. Uh, we'll do our best to do that. She's, we've, I've talked to her and she's asked for it to be organized in a certain way that would be very helpful for them. 
I want to mention that last year on budget day, um, some members of the CCPA research staff went into the lockup, and after the lockup, they came here to this exact location, and they described to us what the budget was. They gave us an analysis of that budget. I'm hoping we will do that again this year on budget day. It'll be in this church here. We'll put it on the website. But if you want to know about what's happened, um, come here that evening. It was really interesting last year and gives you the ammunition to talk about all these issues. Um, that, that'll be happening, of course, be announced by the government when budget day is. We ask you to work within the NDP if you're in the NDP. We ask you to work within the Greens if you're in the Greens. We ask you if you're NDP and Greens to work together. We've had... Um, a really cool idea, which is we've got a ton of footage up here, as you imagine, from this weekend. And there's some people here going to work on that footage and chop it up and give us the pieces. And we're offering to put together a meeting template and a bunch of those video clips. And we'd like you to think about organizing mini summits or meetings in your community, whatever size of meeting it might be, around dinner, in a community, in the town hall, and that sort of thing. That would all be great. But we'll prepare some of the material so you've got it and able to use it. If you might do that, would you put your hand up with me?